All right, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna cover a way to align an instrument track notes to an existing audio track, which until just recently, I didn't realize was possible because you can't do an inline instrument track in Studio One because all the instrument track editing is done in the editor window. And so anyway, I'm just gonna show you how this is done. So the setup for this is I've got this same thing we've been using the last few videos. I want to reinforce the kick with an additional kick sound. I want to layer a new kick sound along with the, you know, recorded kick sound from the uh, multi-track drums. And so to do this, the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a more interesting part of this just to make um, a better example. So I'm going to set a loop where I see the kick doing something kind of interesting. So maybe a couple measures here. All right, so this range looks pretty good. Now, one thing you might not know is to set the loop brace up here. If you go way up near the top, it turns into a pencil and you can draw in the loop. So we'll do that and then I'll just drag this over here. So we're gonna use impact for this. So I went into the instruments on the browser to impact and I'm gonna pull up the acoustic kit multi-layer and just drop that in some blank space. And now here's impact. So you can hear that we've got uh, impact there. So that's uh, the setup for the instrument. Now I'm going to use the paint tool and in the area of this loop, I'm just gonna paint in some blank instrument area to, so that I've got some place to go with my notes. We'll go back to the selector tool and I'll double click that. And so now here's the MIDI editor. Now I'm going to line up everything with the existing bass note. So I'm not gonna really quantize to the grid or anything like that. So I'm gonna turn snap off here and here. And then in order to zoom to the extent of the loop, there's a keyboard shortcut, at least the default one is shift L. So I'm gonna use that to really zoom in. And now if I go down here, I can click in here, or I, I actually need to um, use the paint tool here. Uh, there we go. So I paint in the first note and we'll align that. Now here's the trick. This is a new feature as of version 1.5 called follow edit position. If I engage that and then as I edit, you'll see that the cursor, the edit or the play cursor will follow along with the uh, any edits you make. So that gives me the ability to line things up up here on the timeline. So I can drag this MIDI note and that playhead or the um, playback cursor will follow right along. Now to give myself the next note, you can see that this is there's a little bit of a swing to this. So these notes are delayed. So quantizing to the grid wouldn't give me a good result here. And this is kind of the scenario that we might want to align something to existing audio. I'm gonna hit D, that'll just duplicate that note and I'm gonna drag that one over here to the next kick. And I'll just keep moving along. Duplicate the note to the next uh, kick. And this one, I can reduce the velocity a little bit because you can see that's a little bit smaller. And uh, we'll duplicate this one and drag it right over here. And really quickly, we can sort of work our way through this. Got to make sure I didn't put in the wrong note. It's still got to be a kick note. And duplicate it again. There's two different um, bass drum notes I might choose here, but um, I'm going with the first one. It looks like I'm, looks like I'm off, so I'm just going to grab all of these and move them up a little bit. We'll duplicate that again. And right here, now you could play these in, but uh, I don't know, this is just the 
approach. The point of it is, is the ability to do an alignment with existing, um, with an existing audio track. So there's another one. And then this is where it loops back around. And now let's play this. I think I've got, um, yeah, this one's too low. Yeah, that looks right. And there's a little extra data here. Get rid of that. Now I should be able to mute the original. So you can see that that now uh, perfectly lines up. It's a way you can do this by going through all of the different instruments to basically copy an existing uh, drum part off of a favorite song, or to do this to create a way to dub in uh, an additional part per uh, particularly for uh, reinforcing a kick drum might be a good example of how you'd use this. So anyway, I thought that was really interesting that the this follow edit position gives you a nice guide um, as you're lining things up. So that's a very cool new feature and an interesting use for it as well. Maybe someday we'll have inline instrument track editing so you can just drag the notes around. But right now, this is what we have on it. It's a really good way to work. So I hope you enjoyed this tip, and we'll talk to you again uh, very soon. Bye-bye.